Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Peglin Crucible. This will be part 22 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, uh, we kind of got outplayed because the enemy had just a little bit too much health, which is probably going to happen again. But let's see how we go. Uh, ooh. More damage on bombs. Not super useful. One additional crit. Do we go for a crit build? We'll see what we get, but crits are looking good so far. Crits are already a good start. Actually, we can increase the speed of the fast forward, can't we? Oh, we can't do it from here, though. Yeah, annoying. Uh, well, we started with a crit, so let's completely miss the, uh, the crit. Oh, there we go. Okay, we, we got it. We're good. Oh, we got two crits. Alright, that is a dead man. Uh, we'll go for that crit. Uh, nine's not great, but we kind of just want all the, all the slimes to come in. Alright, one bomb. Soften them up. I don't like this hole here. That's a bit of a, a bit of a mess. Wow, we managed to not get any of those bombs. Oh well, we we killed him. Uh, they're all low enough at the moment that this should not be super difficult. We should be able to kill like one every every turn. Wow, we didn't even graze that one. Ugh. Oh, we can now just shoot straight down. Boom, boom, and we win. Nice. Orblation, this is a new one. Can target any enemy, deal six unblockable self damage when fired. Okay. Uh, a neck orb mancer. Not super into it. The orbsium. Orbsium's not bad. Don't do much damage, though. That's really what the problem is. Uh, we're going to go right. We're going to go for that, that mini boss. Which maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should wait a bit till we get some more peg, uh, more orbs. Ooh, it's this one. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight for the crit, I think. Well, we hit both and like nothing else. That was not great. Oof. All right, if we set off a bomb here, that wouldn't be the worst. If we don't, probably good. Because again, we want to get as many of these slimes out as possible. I think now is the moment, though. Because that'll kill one, we'll soften up another one. If we can try and... Actually, if we get rid of this one, we can then just drop an Orbsium straight on that bomb. Because it's super dense, so it shouldn't bounce too much. It hits everything three times. Sorry, two times. I think three must be the upgrade. Boom. And then hit him. Kill him. I think I might actually go for a Baldor. They are pretty good. I mean, they're just like an upgraded rock. But they can hit everything in a line, which is... Can't be overstated how useful that is. Uh, I guess we'll just go through here. Again, it's pretty dense, so it shouldn't actually go very far. Oh, definitely gonna kill kill this guy. All right, now we want that crit. Probably could hit more than like two pegs though, if I'm being really critical. Nice, we got the bomb. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Because now we're going to get three kills out of this. So, one, two, and three. Uh, can't really hit that crit. Let's just see what we can do here. Oh! Uh, Bold Orb's completely useless because it only targets stuff on the ground. 
that was good. Maybe could have used it on something that didn't have barely any health, but that's fine. Because then I just opened up the trench. Okay, we're going to get some tickles. Uh, still useless. Yeah, we're, we're going to get a couple of tickles, probably. Would be good if we could avoid it, but I think that ship has now sailed. 52? I mean, if we'd hit a crit there, that would have been perfect. Okay, we're going to target him. In the hope that we get enough to actually kill him. No. Oh. Doesn't make a lot of difference in terms of our health. How are you? 11. That's not the way to get it. That's the way to get 10. Oh, I also hit the wrong one. Oops. Uh, and we'll just go for the crit, because getting 11 out of a crit, not very hard. And then 29. That might be a bit of a bit of a hassle. Oops, I missed the refresh. That's not good. Damn. Ah, there we go. Oh man, we dodged everything. Oh, I really wanted to get through, only losing 10 health. Damn. Actually, we haven't had many upgrades. We've had a lot of choices for new orbs, but not a lot of just straight upgrades. Okay, we got one here. Perfect. Uh, Orbsium, three times. Maybe... Oh, but it doesn't actually do the damage. Maybe we do the bold orb, or do we go for the swing? I think we do the bold orb. It is a decent upgrade. Like, it's, it's very straightforward. Okay, it would be nice for this to be the Minotaur. Yeah, it's not. It's the plants. That's not great. Uh, well, I guess we just do this. I mean, we got some good damage out of it, because it hits everything multiple times, and we get a bomb, like, guaranteed. This could just kill us, uh, to be completely honest. The problem with having, like, oh, everything's got more health means that when you have these boss battles where there's multiple, it's just so hard to grind your way through. So I keep firing down the same trench. Not a good plan. Oh, man. I want to try and get it down this side so we can get the refresh. Oh, we'll get one here. And we got a bomb. Okay. That suddenly turned around a little bit. Oh, actually, this is what we needed. I absolutely should have... Uh... I should have skipped the last one and gone for the big boy, because that's a lot of damage. It's not enough to kill all of them, but it's a fair chunk. We are going to get double tapped here. Oh, now I managed to get it down that trench. Oh, we got a refresh. Okay, that's probably worth it. I think... Uh, oh, bold orbs last. Of course it is. Alright, what do we need? 36 should not at all be unattainable. No, there we go. Okay, you... I think I need to target... I don't often go through the middle here. Maybe maybe that's worth doing. Oops, I didn't quite hit where I was aiming, but... Should be okay. Oh my god, we missed all those crits. One crit would have been enough. Uh, no. We don't want that. We're just going to do the, what we just talked about. We're going to try and fire it through the middle. There we go. Okay, we didn't lose half our health. Or we have over half health left. I should say. That's not terrible. That's playable. Max out the bold orb, I think. Uh, I don't know if Chris triggered Dill. Your orbs crit damage all enemies. I think... I think crits are going to be the way to go. Uh, do we go for the double double mini boss? I don't know if we can afford it. If this is a mini boss, it's definitely out. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, and it is. Okay. So that's not really very good. <laughs> Shockingly, not what we were hoping for. Also, there's no crits down the central path, so we don't even get a triple kill. Okay. I think we want him gone. Uh, there's no good crit here. Could just shoot this way and hope. Uh, we hoped wrong. <laughs> we hoped terribly wrong. I I think we're gonna die. We're we're just gonna be worn down because we didn't get those kills at the start. And there's just such a big hole in the middle. Like, what can we even do about this? Okay, we have to get this refresh. Anyway, this has bombs as well. Is it even attainable to get the bombs? Oh man, we can take so much damage. Um, yeah, I will say, the Orbsium is quite deceptive. Because it looks bad, right? It does one damage per hit. But I guess if you upgrade it, technically it is doing three damage a hit. Okay. So what do I need here? Okay, I, I think I just have to kill this guy. I can't guarantee that I'm going to get more... Yeah, I, I was never going to get 59, and I need to just get rid of some of this damage, because this is too much. Uh, this is terrible, though. Look at the placement of these refreshes. Uh, I think we just sacrificed this Orbsium. Uh, which actually is not much of a sacrifice. I guess I could have targeted him and killed him. Probably should have. Uh, not much point now, so let's just completely miss the refresh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. I'm glad I didn't target anyone else. And we're gonna need some heals after this one. Uh, that was also an awful throw. God, if we even make it out of this one. I think we have to throw the bold orb here. Because if we get a crit, we probably get a double kill. Yeah, we've got the double kill. Nice. This is why I like the bold orb. Because it's so much chunkier, it does just hit way more pegs. Like, look at that. If we'd, if we'd hit that first... This would have been over in a flash. Oh, 21. Of course. Alright, just, just die. Okay, we have to heal. Oh my god, that wasn't even a boss? Hello? Felt like a mini boss to me. Oh my god. Uh, what do we got? I uh, don't really want that. All attacks gain more damage. Fresh the board on every reload. Is quite consistent. I think we'll just try and get the damage if we can. Either way, I think aiming this side is just better. Um, we would not have been disappointed with either of those options. Uh, remove an orb. <laughs> Negative 8 HP. Or remove all orbs. I don't think we can afford to remove all orbs. Which sucks, it is true. Okay, I think we just... actually. Well, we have to go left. We do not have the health to take another mini-boss if that, that comes up. So at least we have to try and go left and just go left again. What do we got? Reload Grants, Must Circle. Not super helpful. A consistent heal is what we're really after. Uh, ooh, perfect. Um, 
I want the max HP, but I think we have to do the leaves. I think we have to. That sucks. Although plus, does this do like Slay the Spire, where if you increase your max health by plus seven, it heals you for plus seven as well? Uh, oh God, yeah, I'm glad we did that just before we lost more HP. Uh, yeah, we'll take two of these. So we got the mole. I don't think we're gonna survive the mole. Because he hits pretty hard when he hits. Okay, that's not awful. Again, that kind of goes with our sort of crit build. That's a bit better. That might keep us alive. It's a consistent heal. Is a consistent heal. Oh my god, we start with the bold orb. Um, that is a champion effort. Now, if I can get a refresh here, that would be perfect. Okay. Half his health? Okay, not quite half his health. Okay, but we followed up with the Orbsium, which we can target to anyone. Okay. We're in a good position here. Alright. Actually, that's perfect, because then he comes within range for a crit. Alright. How much do we need to kill him? 205. Um... We, we did it. Holy shit. We actually got the best combination of our first three orbs that we could have possibly gotten. Like, we could not have played that better. That was the perfect choices. Um, yeah, I forgot that... I did say it before, like, even though... Okay, it doesn't increase the damage, but it kind of does. It increases all the damage by more of what it is. Okay, that's a bit rough. Maybe we just have to take this one. I know the orb discards do screw you up a bit if you're not careful. Oh, God. Okay, so we got the wall. Well, what we do know is it no longer matters what our health is at the end. So that's good. Uh, we have the bold orb. In fact, here he is. Which means that if we can get enough to kill one, we get enough to kill all of them. Uh, which we won't. But we did a pretty good job of, of slapping them down. I uh, don't like that we have opened a giant hole in the middle. That's never a good sign because things like that happen. Uh, I was going to chuck away this stone and go for the Orbsium, but we literally can't. Yeah, one of those bombs would be nice. So maybe we want to throw the Orbsium because he's pretty... He's a chunky boy. He's a thick boy. He'll bust through here like nobody's business. Nice. Um, this is a good throw. It's going to super kill the one in front. Would have been nice to punch through and get a couple more bombs. But you know what? He's definitely dead. He is definitely dead. I cannot fault that. Okay, 108. Can we get even remotely close to that? Not if we keep dancing around the middle hole. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you gotta stay away from this area. It's sort of a bucket that just catches you and dumps you straight out. Nice. We actually got through that pretty painlessly. Uh, that's pretty good. I think we want to go to... Honestly, to the left, maybe? Uh, I think we have to go right, because we just don't really have a lot of choice. I don't want to try and bump through here and hit the fire. It's, nah. Nah, it's too too risky. Uh, oh, it's a wave assault. Well, if we hit refreshes, we get health back. So that's good. Are these all... Is this just like all the knights? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, cool. That's not too bad. We, we can do this. This is actually one of like the nicest encounters here, I would say. Because yeah, like the idea is that it wears you down. And 100% it will. 
but I think if we plan a bit tactically and just try and stall until we get the bold orb, I think we'll be fine. Because this is the exact situation that a bold orb is designed to beat, right? A line of boys that we can't get through. It counters the... Um, counters the shields, it counters all that stuff. And with all of our... With all of our uh, upgrades, we're doing 10 per peg, which is more than enough to kill. Also, the bold orb can't fit between the pegs, so it's very hard for it to drop, as we just saw. A restorb. Heal four when fired. Now, this is risky, and I don't think we can take it, because it can only, oh, it can only be used once per battle. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That That is consistent heals. That's exactly what I asked for. Every time we throw that, 4 HP. Doesn't get much more consistent than that. We don't have to hit anything. We literally just have to survive long enough to throw it. Okay, really need a crit. There it is. Oh, wow, actually, I could have asked for a bit more than a crit in hindsight. Really would like that. Uh, I want to go this way now. Right, that's one bomb. Did dumpster us a little bit, but that's okay. Ow. Ah, uh, this one's gonna hurt. This this one is gonna be painful. Oh my god, why do we keep, why do we keep like I aim to the right, it goes down the middle hole. I aim to the left, it goes down the middle hole. How how do I win this? How do I not go down the middle hole immediately? Okay, that's a bit better. Although, if we were going down the middle hole before, we're definitely going down it now. Uh, this has to be a good throw. And I don't see it being a good throw. Whoops. Oh my god. There it is. There's that not good throw. Oh my god, I missed it. I, I clicked the wrong thing on the right and then missed it on the left. Unbelievable. Uh, well, there's our guy. There's our Restorb. Unfortunately, not quite enough healing to even counteract one hit. God, I think we just get mangled here. Okay, well that kills one. Uh, that kills two. Okay, so bomb kills one. All team kills a second. They are going to hit us because we have to reload here. And that hurts. But if we can maybe punch through here, get a refresh, get two refreshes. Okay, uh, that's heals. And that's a kill. Alright, we have sort of come back here. Would like a few more refreshes, but seems like we won't get it. Okay. So we've got just under half health. 100% uh, that sucks. I think we have to take the heal. Uh, we don't want the crit. We really want that right there. I want the extra question marks, although we'll probably will get a mini boss anyway, because there's a lot of question marks to go through. Okay, this is okay. A bit of a shit order, because we've started with our stone, which is, you know, by definition, terrible. Okay, but there's a good to fair chance we're going to kill the mage with the bold orb. Now, a crit here is ideal, but doesn't actually accomplish much. Oh, okay, I take it back. Crits do deal damage to everybody, so... Can't, can't say that's a bad thing. 
Okay, so if we can get 191 here, then we are in the money. Which should not be difficult because of the 10 per hit. Nice. A little tickle, which isn't helpful. Alright, we're just going to fast forward this so that we can get this refresh. Because I want the heals. Bonk. And we'll just fast forward this because he's definitely dead. Wow, the Orbsium does do a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, actually, that's the point. Orbsium does the same damage on both, right? Yeah, so it just triple hits. It doesn't really matter if you hit a crit or not. Yeah, again, doesn't really matter what we threw because we were never going to kill him. Kind of the same deal here. Doesn't matter because we are going to kill him. Uh, and same thing, we're not going to kill him regardless of what we throw. Didn't kill the shield though, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, but thankfully hitting crits will get rid of the shield. Uh, I don't think we need a heal. Though I don't know what here we want. So maybe... Although Bramble... No wait, the wall's not affected by Bramble. Which is a bit annoying. Because I feel like it should be. Uh, as long as we don't dumpster it directly into the fire. Doesn't really matter where we go. Perfect. Whew, okay. Ooh. Ah, oh, perfect. Get that bold orb straight away. I mean, not, not straight away, but close enough. So as long as we can get like 200, which if we hit you and then go, yeah, go that way. Ooh, it's not looking like a 200. Nope, never mind. It, it was. It was. That's, that's 300. Perfect. And now this, again, doesn't super matter. Because we now have no danger. You know, yeah, it would be nice to kill him there just for brevity, but meh. He's, he's dead here. Uh, once again, like, a Dock Orb is good, but I think it's just too risky. If we don't upgrade it, it's just one heal and then we're done. Shock Orbsorber. Plus one, plus one for each bomb detonated. It's not a terrible orb. Maybe we do the Matrobshka. Because with our, like, Must Circle and the basic blade and stuff, we can get some good damage out of that thing. Normally its weakness is that it, ha it uh, does shit damage. Um, no, I do not want... Do not want your poker chip. Be gone. An Inferno Ignites. I just dashed through. Um, we're gonna... We are definitely going to the right if we can. Nice. I don't want that fight and double chest and then... Okay, not super helpful. But yeah, double chest, couple of question marks, sounds great. Because again, doesn't matter how much health we've got for the last one. Nice, more health. Whew. Uh, right, hang on. One orb in each hand. So you offer one of them and the other one gets... It's either upgraded or doubled. We're going to offer the stone. Yeah, okay, the dagger gets upgraded. Perfect. We lost a stone, we upgraded a dagger. That's perfect. Uh, no, we don't want the, like, healing thing. Maybe we do, actually. That could have been good. We do have extra max HP, so... Go figure, it's actually not too bad. Um... It's not a great start. I think we just have to throw it and see what happens. The Orbsium is pretty good for this. You know, like, Orbsium is a good... A good orb for this particular fight. Uh, the more bombs we hit here, the better. Yeah, if we can finish with a finish with a refresh on the bottom, that's not too bad. Okay, Matrobshka, honestly, just go nuts. 
Probably should have targeted towards a refresh, but they're not going to move, so if we target this way, we should get one. Matrobshka is just probably going to give us more bombs. Which gives us a hit. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go for that refresh, I think. No guarantees, but we need to just refresh as much as possible, I think. Don't know how I didn't hit that bomb. That feels, feels gypped. All right. Come on, Dagor. Get me like 300, 500 would be good. 480. Uh, wasn't bad. The old dense orbsium is going to be just beautiful here. Nice. And we got the refresh. Yeah, as I said, the orbsium pretty damn good here. Uh, Bold Orb also very good because it doesn't fit. Although it doesn't bounce much either, so it just kind of makes a path straight down. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get a kill here. I'm a bit concerned that he's... We're going to get real close. He's going to get to, like, here when the make or break moment happens. Although the Must Circle will give us a little bit of extra damage. Although, wait, that doesn't affect... Yeah, wait, that doesn't affect crit damage, though. So we'll get to a point where damage from crits is worth less. Okay, we have to go here for the for the refresh. We have to try for it. Okay, Orbsium should get it to us. It's just too dense to move. Oh, we danced around it. Okay, we can get a refresh here. Um, it will be a real low hit, though. Okay, double refresh kind of works. Uh, right, we have to try and target over there somehow. No, that's not what we want. Because again, it's going to drop straight down. Both of the refreshes are at the bottom. I think this is where we're going to die. I might reload this and try again. Because, like, again, as I, exactly as I said, like, we've kind of hit the make or break moment here. And, yeah, no, we're, we can't do 2,000 damage. All right. We can't do 2,000 damage in that attack. So we'll give it one more go. Man, this, this wall, why do I never have enough damage to kill it? Like, I've got upgraded orbs. I guess I don't. Under half my bag is upgraded. And this one's not even maxed out. That's probably why. Um, yeah, we just have to... Oh, let's fast forward. This is one of those ones where it doesn't really need to... We don't have to go at, at slow speed. It doesn't really matter. We have all the time in the world to think about where we want it to go. So I'm a bit confused with this battle, actually. The more I think about it, is it better to kill the knights early, or is it better to kind of, like, wait? Oh, they've changed it. It used to just eat both knights, right? Interesting. That should get a refresh, I think. If it hits a bomb, I probably will. Oh, or not. Okay. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, trick here is you really have to get just value damage. Which that dag orb is not. The 140 is not value damage. I mean, look, I'm a bit out of practice. I haven't, I haven't played Peglin for a while. Uh, ooh. 195 is just fucking not enough. Nowhere near. Okay, refresh there is definitely value. Would have preferred to get another bomb. Yeah, okay, so if we hit a crit with, like, the with the stone, it actually does less damage. 
Yeah, okay, Moss Circle's actually terrible. Well, okay, I... Terrible might be a strong word. It, it just adds, like, nothing to the build. Because we're sort of going for, like, crits, but if we hit crits, our attack gets worse. Like this one. So that sort of sort of terrible. <laughs> right? Like we would have been better if we missed that crit. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, it just means that we don't gain anything from crits on those ones. It's not like we lose anything. We might as well just pretend that Must Circle isn't even in our in our back. Okay, so this this runs even worse than the first one. Just gonna throw that out there right away. <laughs> yeah, all right. Last attempt. Three attempts. Three attempts. It's only fair. If we can't beat it on the third attempt, then our our bag is terrible. And I mean, our bag is terrible. Uh, does this really matter? No, but we sort of want a refresh. Always want refreshes, if only to move them around. Okay, 200. Yeah, but 200 into him is kind of shit. Doesn't really matter at all. Okay, we're gonna try for that refresh at the bottom. Or that one, if we can get it. God, the Orbsium's just so good for getting those bombs. Actually, wow, Orbsium with Musso. Ooh, actually, that's a... That's a point. Um, yeah, we sort of... Ugh. What's the what's the strategy here? Do you aim for crits or do you just aim for refreshes and only refreshes? Cause maybe that's where I always mess this up. Like a refresh is better or are the crits better? Maybe it depends on how far down. Yeah, I think maybe it matters how far down the refresh is. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, that was... That did not spark joy. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. 420. Blaze it. Move on. Uh, see, I think... Okay. Here's my thought pattern. If the refreshes are really low, you want to target them. If the refreshes are pretty high, you want to go for crits. Because if you don't go for low refreshes, you'll end up stuck in a position where you can't get to them later. Or I guess there's the obvious, you know, the, the obvious strategy of, yeah, if there's a giant hole in it, go for the refresh. But I think if you've got a giant hole in it, then you've got bigger problems. That was not a good bounce. I do this a lot, actually. I, I go for that, like, nestled in sort of shot, and it just... Oh my god. Alright. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, that's not fine. I think that means we're definitely going to die again. Oh my god, that was what I needed. Uh, it's still not enough, though. Uh, we, we're definitely dead. Unless suddenly we hit, like, a 2,000. Uh, which we're not gonna. Alright, well... We are definitely dead here. We don't have the damage to kill this guy. And I don't know how we were gonna get it. Ugh. Ugh, you know what? I'm doing it again. I'm doing one more. One more. Just because I love Peglin. And I this this is like a puzzle I'm pretty sure we can beat. 
but man, it's going to require some some fancy maneuvers. Oh, this is the first time we haven't got that rest orb. Uh, still would love to see the bold orb first, uh, rather than last, where it doesn't really matter. <laughs> bold orb first would be oh, that'd be what we need. Yeah, we just we just don't have enough swing, I guess. We have like consistent damage between the basic blade, the a uh, sealed conviction, and the what is it? The dumbbell. We have such consistent hits, but we don't really want consistent hits. We want big swing damage. We want like a crit for like five thousand. So we have to hit those crits. Uh, well, again, it doesn't really matter where we fire it. I guess with our build, we ironically don't need crits for the most part. Because of all the relics we've got, crits kind of don't count for shit. They only count on the dag orb, which I note is so far the only one where the crits have not been near the surface. And I completely missed it. I think this dag orb's killing us. I should get rid of it. I always like rate the dag orb quite highly. And maybe the answer is I absolutely should not. Like I always love the, da the dag orb. Because I'm like oh wow that's a lot of damage if you crit. But man percentage of times that I don't crit when I need to. Is just way too goddamn high. Um, we're creating a trench here, which is not what we want. Actually, I guess the other one on this map is if you don't get a nice, like, hole for it to fall into, you end up in a lot of trouble. I will also just straight up say, um, this... This, like, layout, this boss battle is a hard one with the 50% health increase. Because... Jesus, like... If he didn't have so much health... Oh my god, that bounce. We gotta avoid that bounce. That, that kills us dead. I think we're literally dead because of that just complete lack of damage there. You can't deal zero damage in this fight on any of your throws. One day I should do the maths and count how many turns it takes to actually get to you. So that you sort of know. Because this one, there's absolutely a formula, right? It's literally just like, you have to do 500 damage every throw or you die. So it would be nice to know what that magic number is. Ooh, we could get a win out of this. I think the trick here is we want an Orbsium that does not hit. Oh, I think we have one more. Okay, we want a crit that does hit. Uh, sorry, a Dag Orb that does hit a crit. And we want an Orbsium that does not. So that is a damn good throw. Okay, now we just need to get an Orbsium that hits no crits. Oh my god, we did it. I feel bad to have save scummed it, but... Man, we worked for that. That that was work. That was massive work. Do you want another Matrobshka? I kind of don't want any of these. Maybe a Matrobshka. Electropagnet is pretty good. That is not value at the moment. Okay, I think we have to get an Electro Pegnet. They're so hard to pass up. Um, it's such a strong ability. It's right up there with the Overwhammer. 
Uh, but anyway, we are going to leave this episode here because we've gone on far too long. So guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you're only friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video to with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.